gaming laptops can be expensive, but they don't have to eviscerate your savings account. Over the last few years, some features that you only used to find on the most high-end gaming notebooks have trickled down to low- and mid-level models. A PC with a speedy SSD, a high refresh rate display, and a GPU good enough for gaming at 1080p can be had for under $1,500. But the only problem you'll face while purchasing a laptop is which one to pick. There are too many manufacturers in the market. My today's video is about top 5 best gaming laptops under $1,500 are available in the market. If you want to know price and more information about the products that mentioned in this video, you may check the link in the description box below. So now let's get started. The first product on our list is the number 5, Asus ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition. When we reviewed the Asus ROG Strix G15, it was just over $1,500. Recently, it's dropped a bit with the same AMD Radeon RX 6800M, 16GB of RAM, and 512GB storage drive that we reviewed it with. The Strix G15 Advantage Edition showed both strong gaming and productivity performance on our tests, competing with laptops using NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 and RTX 3070 in our suite of games. But what particularly impressed us was the battery life. It ran for 10 hours and 14 minutes on our battery test, which shamed almost all of its competitors, and is longer than some Ultrabooks we've tested recently. The laptop remained cool at most touch points. The display could be a bit brighter, but is not unusable. You'll have to bring your own webcam, however, as this laptop doesn't have one. For those who want their laptop to stream gaming, the G15 is covered in RGB lighting, including a strip on the bottom. There are also a handful of AMD and Asus themed Easter eggs both on the computer's exterior and even inside the laptop, underneath the bottom plate. At number 4, MSI Sword 15. The NVIDIA GeForce RDX 3060 and Intel Core i7-12650H worked well together for gaming, but you'll have to put up with some of the loud fans that MSI uses to keep the pots cool. In MSI Center, you can attempt to change them. With this device, there is some room for future upgrades, including a second M2 PCIe SSD slot if you decide to increase your storage capacity. The Sword 15 is still strong enough to be used for work when you're not playing even though it didn't perform as well as some of our productivity benchmarks. However, you'll still want to keep it plugged in the majority of the time. An intriguing gaming laptop with a fair price is the MSI Sword 15. While many gaming laptops draw attention to themselves with a ton of RGB and flamboyant designs, MSI plays it safe with a straightforward white and black color scheme with cool blue keyboard backlighting. Weighing just under 5 pounds, the 15.6-inch chassis should fit neatly into a travel laptop bag. At number 3, Alienware M15R7. It's common knowledge that even mid-range computers aren't built well. That is not true. In fact, Despite being built of plastic, the Alienware M15R7's chassis feels incredibly robust, which is one of its most notable features. If you don't mind carrying about a little additional weight, you can take this laptop with you when you go gaming. Although the AMD Ryzen 7 6800H and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 in our testing competed head-to-head -head with Intel-based systems using the same GPU, it is evident that you can play almost everything on this with the appropriate settings. Additionally, the Alienware showed efficiency in non-gaming chores. On our battery test, which involves web browsing, streaming video, and light graphics work, it lasted 8 hours and 57 minutes. That is significantly more than the average gaming laptop receives today. There are some criticisms. Productivity benchmarks show that Intel laptops trail the and equipped Alienware. However, if you want a fast refresh rate and a luxurious feel, this laptop is a strong option for under $1,500. At number 2, Acer Nitro 5. 
The Acer Nitro 5 has served as the benchmark for low-cost gaming laptops for a number of years. We remain supporters. Goodbye, red and black. Acer has changed the chassis to make it a little more understated. It still includes RGB lighting, but the angles are softer, so it would look good at a coffee shop or when playing video games with pals. With a Core i5 12500H processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RDX 3050D, the machine we tested from Best Buy performed admirably as long as you're ready to lower the settings in some games. The Nitro 5 does come with a lot of bloatware from Acer, so you'll need to spend some time getting rid of it. We especially like the Nitro 5 as future upgradability. Acer supplies a SATA connector in the box along with an empty 2.5-inch drive bay so that you may subsequently install a hard drive or SSD to make room for games. There aren't many laptops that have space for additional, inexpensive storage. At number 1. Asus DUF Gaming F15 you often have to tow that $1,500 Q without a sale in order to achieve true power. With a Core i7-12700H, NVIDIA GeForce RDX 3060, and a 300Hz display for an additional cost. In our tests, the TUF Gaming F15 outperformed several similar laptops on tests including the Grand Theft Auto V benchmark very high settings, 90fps, the Red Dead Redemption 2 benchmark medium settings, 59 FPS, and the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark highest settings, 74 FPS. The laptop performed admirably on the majority of our productivity tests, indicating that it can also be used as a workhorse when you're not playing games. There is room for improvement in this situation, although you could replace them with one of the finest gaming headsets or an external webcam. We didn't particularly like the webcam or speakers. So what do you think about this video? If you think this video is really helpful to take your decision easier, kindly subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to notify our upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.